to the quick selection tool and we're going to go, and go ahead and select everything but myself. Select the entire brick wall. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by holding alt and zooming in so I can actually, you know, focus on the details. So let's see with my cap right here, everything, everything looks fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And excuse me guys, there is no face cam because I'm on a different location and my camera battery is dead. I don't have a charger. So please excuse uh, this really small um, uh, Photoshop tutorial without a face cam. But next week I will be back with face cams whatsoever. But before this video starts, I, qu I quickly want to ask you guys I'm going to make a Q&A video within this in a couple of days. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them in the next Q&A video. So that will come in the next couple of days when you know the questions are starting to come in. Make sure to leave your questions in the comments down below and let's start off with today's video. So as you can see right now, we are on Photoshop and I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how to make an image transparent. So this is a picture of me holding my silver play button that I got from YouTube for reaching 100,000 subscribers. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to remove the background and make that one transparent so that I have only myself in the picture. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the quick selection tool and we're going to go, and go ahead and select everything but myself. Select the entire brick wall. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by holding alt and zooming in so I can actually, you know, focus on the details. So let's see with my cap right here that everything, everything looks fine. So I'm going to select it right now very carefully then we're going to do that on the other side as well we're going to select the entire brick wall and then i'm going to show you guys how to make it transparent so as you can see i'm going to make it i'm going to also select within my arms as you can see so that doesn't really work so i'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller as you can see and then we can select the entire space between my arms All right, folks, so now that I have selected everything but myself in the picture, I'm going to press delete. I'm going to press delete and let's see what happens. Boom. As you can see, there is me and this is myself on a white background. But as you can see, it's done really sloppy on my arms, but you can just go ahead and select uh, the eraser tool and just go your uh, uh, like along your arms like this as you can see so it makes it look a little bit better you can do that yourself but this is just the purpose of showing you guys how to make an image transparent so as you can see this is myself cut out and we also want to remove the white background now we're gonna only uh, remove the white background by unchecking the background on the right in the layer section we're going to just click on there and as you can see those little squares appear and that means that the beat that the picture is transparent now you're not done yet what you want to do is you do not want to export this image to a jpeg you want to go to file save as and we are going to save this as a png at the bottom right here because let's say like if you um like export this into a jpeg you will still have a white background so when you make sure to pick png and then we're going to just give this a name uh called myself for example then we're going to click on save yes and if i go to my desktop right now and open up the picture this is what it will look like boom guys this is myself as you can see the background is black because it is transparent and you can use it on anything you like. And this is how to make a image transparent, guys. It is really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll show you guys right now if I go to file, if I make a new file. And I'm just going to give this uh, background or just the background, like I would say, a red color. So I'm just going to color this in real quick, as you can see. Then I'm going to drag in the picture of myself and as you guys clearly can see this is how it looks i dragged the image in and as you can see the image is transparent and it's only me with the black with the red background sorry so this is how to do it guys that is how to make an image transparent it's really simple so i want to thank you for the continued support and i will catch you guys tomorrow for an awesome fidget spinner video the very first one so make sure to stay tuned and this is how to do it thank you for the support and i will catch you guys tomorrow just alex helford